Hi guys, Xavier here bringing you a brand new video. Recently I did my uh, top 10 favorite anime of all time. And today I'd like to share with you my personal top 10 favorite video games of all time. Now, I have a lot of games here, but they're all PlayStation. I'll just warn you, they're all from PlayStation because... Uh, call me a Sony pony or whatever because... I really love PlayStation. I grew up with PlayStation. It's my favorite console. Uh, don't get me wrong though, if you play Xbox or if you play PC or whatever else, I'm perfectly fine with that. I promise. But me personally, I've always just had a PlayStation. I could only ever have one uh, console at a time. So, uh, and even when I'm older now, I can really only afford one at a time. So I just stick with PlayStation. So uh, I really wanted to do a top 10 videos. But Besides the honorable mentions, don't expect anything much besides games that have ever been on a PlayStation. And trust me, this list was very, very hard. I have left out a lot of games that I really wanted to put on this list. So you definitely know I really like these games. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, here starting at number 10. A fairly recent game, but I really felt it should be on my list. It's kind of low, but I really wanted to have it on my list. And there's a lot of games that I really wanted on my list higher than this. And it was really hard to keep it at 10, but it's still on my list. So at number 10, The Last of Us. Uh, this game is absolutely amazing. The story is so engaging. It's You really get to care for the main protagonists of the story. Uh, and it's definitely a really... Uh, it's really fun to play too. The gameplay is great, but you know the main focus to me in this uh, game is actually the story, because the story is so well put together, and uh, it's definitely one of my favorite games. And it was really really hard to put it at ten, because I wanted it higher. Uh, maybe it'll be higher in the future when I let it sink in more. But uh, this is definitely a wonderful game, and you should. Definitely give it a try if you haven't yet. And if you like uh, horror, horror or survival, it's definitely uh, definitely worth to try. At number nine, a uh, little bit of a controversial pick, like number ten, because it's another uh, very well loved series, and there's a lot of different incarnations of this series. And my pick is probably a pick most people wouldn't pick. At number nine, Tales of Exilia Two. Uh, now, why would I pick Tales of Exilia 2? It's one of the newer ones, but when I played this game, I really loved the first one, even though it wasn't my favorite uh, Tales game at the time. My favorite was uh, Tales of the Abyss up until this one. I played this game, and it just improved on pretty much everything from the first game, and I, I fell in love with the uh, two new main, new main characters, and even though you won't understand this game unless you played the first one, I do highly recommend this game. It's really fun. It's a JRPG, and it's it. I, I loved it. It was really fun, and the story was so good. So definitely give this a try. Now we're here at number 8. My number 8 pick is Star Wars Battlefront 2. I've always been a Star Wars fan since I was a kid. Um, in the 90s, you know, when they did the reboots of uh, Star Wars and did the enhanced versions or whatever for the first time. You know, I saw all of those, and I fell in love with Star Wars. And uh, I even have the first game, but I'll always love the second game because it's ten times better. There's more maps, they had better graphics, and they pretty much improved on everything from the first game. And uh, this was just so fun. This is one of the first shooting games I've ever owned. And uh, it was just so much fun. I have hours and hours and hours on both uh, the Star Wars Battlefront games for the PS2. And I'm really looking forward to the new Star Wars Battlefront as well. Uh, as long as they don't mess it up. But still, this is a wonderful game, and I definitely urge you to try this one out if you're a Star Wars fan and you haven't tried it yet, or if you like shooters, because it's actually a pretty good shooter as well. Now we're at number seven. Uh, you might be starting to see a trend here. Mm -hmm. Shooters and what else? Uh, RPGs. Specifically, there's a lot of JRPGs on my list as well. Uh, but this game is wonderful. And... Uh, 
I do really recommend Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch, because if you like Studio Ghibli uh, and their anime, you'll definitely love it, because uh, it's their uh, art direction in this game. And if you even like Pokemon, you know, this is also a great uh, game if you enjoy Pokemon. And it has a lot of really good elements, and it's jumbled into one, and it's such a, you know, easygoing it's still a difficult game, but, you know, the story is kind of, like, laid back and has a charm about it. And I think that's great because, you know, that's what Studio Ghibli does best with their work. And you can really see that shine in this game. And I really love it. So definitely try out Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. We're at the halfway mark here. We're at number five. Number five is Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, I've always been a big uh, a Final Fantasy fan, and uh, you know I've I grew up on Disney as well. Even though I'm not uh, as big into Disney as much as I used to be, I still love this game. You know, it has a to me. I still think it has a really good story. I can always hop on Kingdom Hearts or Kingdom Hearts Two, you know, and I can just play it. You know, it's just. Uh, easy for me personally to pick up, and I've always enjoyed this series because it's, it's got a—it's actually got a good story. Who you know? Who would have thunk that uh, Final Fantasy and Disney could mix together so well? And it's just a very fun game, and you know, I really do recommend this game to uh, RPG fans, and if you like Final Fantasy or even Disney. Now that I've realized I got the numbers mixed up and I don't feel like uh, going back and fixing that, uh, redoing my whole rants, you know, this is actually the real number five. I screwed up. <laughs> and this is actually the only PlayStation 1 game on my list, which was actually really hard because there's a lot of PlayStation 1 games I absolutely love. And um, it was really difficult for me to only have one on this list. I definitely needed to have this one on my list because this is my favorite PlayStation 1 game of all time. And uh, last year I actually went back and rebeat it and it took me over a hundred hours because I, I didn't realize it when I was younger, but it's a it's a big grind fest and the story's not as good as I thought it would. But it's, you know, the memories I have with this game and, you know, going to school with my friends and we'd always discuss this game. And, uh, where are you and you know, whatnot. This is just definitely a game that will always be in my heart, and that's why it's number five, and that's Digimon World 3. Uh, <laughs> unless you're a Digimon fan, you know, uh, I don't know if this is, this isn't really the game for everybody, because it's a, it's really just a big grind fest, you know. It's a lot of grinding and not a lot of story. Hi, Echo, go away. <laughs> but, you know, I just have a lot of good memories when it comes to Digimon World 3. It's not even a, a lot of people's favorite Digimon game either. But this was my first Digimon game because the first two were teen rated and when I was a kid I wasn't allowed to have those. But uh, I, this is definitely a great game to me. It's not for everybody, but the memories I have with this make it where it is right now. Alright guys, we are now down to the nitty gritty. This is number four. This was actually a pretty hard choice as well, but I'm glad I did go with this one. Number four is actually Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. This would have been uh, Final Fantasy VII, but I actually prefer the story in Crisis Core over the original PlayStation 1 version of Final Fantasy VII. Because this version is a prequel, and it's about Zack who I knew about in the first game, you know, he's talked about, but I never really fell in love with this character until this game. And uh, I knew it was going to happen at the end, but I actually did tear up a lot when it came to the ending of this game. And this game was just wonderful. This is, hands down, in my opinion, the best PSP game you can get. And if you haven't played this game, you're doing yourself a huge disservice if you own a PSP. I remember pre-ordering this game. This is still that copy, too. Uh, but this is definitely a great game. It's really fun. But uh, Final Fantasy VII, you know, it was hard for me to pick between uh, Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. 
but definitely give this game a try. Here at number three is my last PlayStation 3 game on this list. And it's also my very first first-person shooter, and it's still my probably my favorite first-person shooter, because I don't have any other first-person shooters left on my list. So, without further ado, we have Fallout 3. I know it's better on PC, but I didn't play it on PC. I have it on PS3, and despite all the glitches in this game, there are a lot of bugs and glitches. This game was so much fun. You know, this is one of my first PlayStation 3 games I actually ever owned, and I fell in love with this game as soon as I started playing it. I mean, the story is actually pretty good. I mean, it's actually really good. It's a lot better than New Vegas, in my opinion. And uh, there's just this huge uh, world to explore. And, you know, your actions actually do mean something. If you kill something, if you kill somebody, if you destroy a town, you can come back a hundred hours later and it's still like that. You know, it's like your decisions are final. Unless you made a previous save and you reload it. But I, I really do like this. I love this game. And uh, there's, there's a ridiculous amount of stuff to do in this game. A ridiculous. But uh, definitely a great first-person shooter game. You don't even have to play it in first-person. You can actually do it in third-person because you can switch in and out of that. And uh, it's still a wonderful game. Uh, it, is aging, it is starting to age a little bit. Uh, the graphics are kind of, when I play this game anymore, it actually kind of makes me a little sick to my stomach in some of the areas. But uh, this is still one of the best games I've ever played, and that's why it's number three. Now we're at number two. And my number two pick, this game was my favorite game for a very, very, very long time. Up until 2013. Ever since I had this game, I thought this was like the best game ever made, and it still is one of the best. But here it is. Number two, Dot Hack GU. The whole series is actually magnificent, but I have number volume one here because, you know, this is what started it all for me in the series. And it's such a good game. This is a wonderful game. It has such a good story. It's a video game about a video game because you're playing a character who plays a character in an online MMORPG that doesn't exist in real life as much as I wish it did, but it's got such a freaking good story. And I've played all these games three or four times over, each one, and it's just so much freaking fun too. And you, you uh, come to care about most all the characters in this game, and I still love this game. And it was hard to put it at number two, but my number one game is definitely justified. So bear with me. This is definitely a game, if you own a PS, a working PS2, these, are, these games are actually pretty expensive anymore, but if you can get your hands on it, I highly, highly, highly recommend the .hack GU series. I just want to mention a couple of runner-ups. Um... It was very hard. I was almost put some of my PS3 games on here. I only wanted to make it, put it down to three, but uh, I don't have any PS3 games on here. But I did want to mention uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, the first game, which I do not have. But that was the very first video game I ever played, and I still love the old Sonic games up until uh, Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes was a good game. In fact, I should have grabbed my copy of that and put that on this list, but. You know, Sonic the Hedgehog, the first game, was my first video game, and it's still a great game. And I still recommend that one very big. And another one, my second one, would be another game I don't own anymore, which is Pokemon Silver, the silver version. Because, you know, I had every Pokemon game up until Leaf Green. I bought uh, at least one version every time a new one came out. and But I've always felt... Silver, to me, seemed the best. I don't know why. It was the most fun. It actually has most of my favorite Pokemon came from that game. So, uh, I definitely love Pokemon Silver. And then, the third game I have here, for my third runner-up, would be Mega Man Legends. Uh, this was actually my favorite uh, game when I was younger, up until Digimon World 3. But, uh, 
this is actually definitely still a very good game. It's my favorite Mega Man game. Um, I know there's a lot of people who don't like it when uh, don't like the Mega Man Legend series at all. And uh, but remember when I was a kid, the story to this was just to me so so uh, engaging, and it was just so fun. And I loved uh, making my armor really dark blue and kicking down the houses because that was fun. But uh, this is definitely a fun game still to me. Uh, the controls are a little difficult anymore, but it's still a really good game. And you know, if you're a Mega Man fan, you might not like it, but you know. Give it a try if you, if you haven't tried it yet. So, definitely one of my favorite games still. Oh, and before I forget, I have one more runner up here, and that's uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, why is a Call of Duty game on this list whatsoever? It's because, you know, I have a lot of memories playing this game. This is my first Call of Duty game, and it's, it's still, in my opinion, quite a good game. But, uh... It's still fun, it's still fun, especially the online is actually really good. The maps are probably the best out of all the Call of Duty games, but um, I, it's mostly because of a lot of the memories I have playing with my friends, and even though I don't play Call of Duty anymore, I really wanted to mention this real quick on uh, for my runner-ups. And at number one we have Berserk Millennium Falcon. This is a game I've actually not played. I own it, but I can't play it without a Japanese PlayStation 2. But I'm a big Berserk fan, so I own it. But I haven't played it. It's not my real number one. Maybe it will someday, but for now, I can't play it. My real number one is a Vita game. A PlayStation Vita game? Are you freaking crazy? Uh, maybe. It's actually a port of a PS2 game that I never got a chance to play. I never played this on PS2, but I got it on the Vita when it came out, and I was blown away. I was absolutely blown away by this game because it's so much fun. You fall in love with all the characters. You care for every character, even though they're not real. You really learn to care for every single character in this game. And uh, you just never know what to expect. You just don't. It's like a detective game, but it's action. It's got dungeon crawling. And it's just a lot of fun for me. And that game is Persona 4 Golden by Shin Megami Tensei. And... This is such a freaking good game. Whether you can get your hands on it on the PS2, I think you can download it on the PS3, or if you have a Vita, if you're lucky enough to have a Vita, get it on the Vita, because the Vita version is definitely the best one, because there's a new character in it, and it has extended stuff, and extra stuff, and this is definitely the best version from what I've seen, and I've played this game so many times now, this is just such a wonderful experience to play. And uh, it became my favorite game after my first playthrough. I'm like, you know what? Diag GU, I'm sorry. But Persona 4 beats you. And if you're a fan of JRPGs, this is definitely a game you should, you should play. You should own this game. And I'm really excited for Persona 5. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I know I didn't have any... PlayStation 4 games on this list. I actually only own three PS4 games, and the only one I've completed is Dragon Age Inquisition, which I actually almost put on my runner-ups, because I really love the Dragon Age series. I've played all the Dragon Ages. Uh, what the hell. The other two games I almost put on this list as well that were really close was uh, Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption, both Rockstar. I couldn't pick between which one I wanted, because uh, they were both wonderful, stupendous PlayStation 3 games, but, you know, I had a lot of PlayStation 3 games on this list, uh, but there's a lot of PlayStation 3 games I really liked. So, again, guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't heard of some of these games and you're interested, go ahead and try them. Uh, a lot of these games I know are probably uh, pretty well known. A lot of people have probably played a lot of them already, but, you know, this is these were my opinion. I really do love these games, and if you haven't tried them, uh, try them. And you guys have a wonderful day. One more runner-up is Tekken 2, before I forget to mention that.